Well, my name is um, David Bamidele Odule. Well, I was born about five decades ago uh, into the family of late Mr. and Mrs. Abiodun Odule. I came from Oru. I was born in Ilefe, precisely, but I'm a native of Ijebu in Oru, Oru town. Uh, I had my primary education in the village. That was after the demise of my parents. Uh, that place is uh, Falafomo via Uri Jebu in the Jebu North Local Government of Ugo States. I also had my secondary modern school education uh, in Uru, the Tamerin to the precise. I also went to Muslim Teacher Training College for my teacher's education. Uh, <clears throat> after my grade two teacher's education, uh, I formed a group called Yomi Odu with a friend then. Theater group, I mean. I've been in the theater for about 35 years now. I started immediately, I left modern school in 1977 under the tutelage of um, the late Dele Ogosoya. I've been longing to be an actor. I actually started as an actor, not as a teacher. I started uh, as an actor, like I said, immediately I left my modern school then, that was in 1977, I joined uh, Dele Ogosoya, but I have passion for education and um, with the assistance of my late cousin, the Oba of Oru then, the Oluru of Oru, the late Oba, Agbolade Ogunshola, who actually had assisted me to you know, and advised me to go back to school. I went to, that was why I actually went to teacher training college. It's not that I have been longing to become a teacher, it was just by an accident. So I went to teacher's college and I thought, because it is compulsory or it was compulsory then, that if you pass through uh, teacher training and orientation, you have to teach. That was why I thought at all. So I never, I never, you know, I never, uh, thoughts of becoming a teacher but you know circumstances actually led me into you know teaching profession then because I went to a teacher training college and before you could be given your certificates you have to teach that is why I eventually became a teacher and it was not too long I left teaching profession well like I said I was brought up in the village you know and um, then you know there were a lot of activities, I mean traditional things, uh, cultural festivals like uh, the usual Agemo and so on and so forth that usually comes up, you know, in the Jebu land. So I discovered that ah, I, I draw, I, I, you know, I, I, I fit in very, very, very freely with what, what they were doing then. I can drum, I sing, I dance, and I discovered that some people are actually making money, you know, from this, uh, you know, artistic uh, thing. So I decided to go into theater, and I discovered myself that I can as well do what they're doing. So that is how I started. My source of inspiration is the environment. The environment I lived when I was much younger actually influenced my artistic career. Well, uh, I think it was easier then because not too many people actually wanted to go into acting. So when you now approach anybody that you, you, you want to be an actor, quickly you will be, you will be given a chance because uh, they are, they, these people were actually looking for somebody who wants to be. But uh, then it was not like uh, because you want to go and make money, you know, it's all about interest, your passion for, 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 for the job. It is purely passion for the job. It is not that, okay, when I get there, uh, I will go and make uh, some cash. No, it wasn't like that before. Compared with now that people actually want to make money, they will be thinking, well, when they go into the business, they will actually make their ways. So then it's purely, it's purely, it was purely, you know, interest 
So I went into drama in the first instance because I am interested, because of the you know the affection I have for for, for the job. Uh, <clears throat> then we are more, or I would say we were more dedicated than the way we do it now. When the um, people who were involved, you know, in 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 that industry, I mean, uh, theater industry those days. They were genuine. They, they, they actually, they, 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 they want. They wanted to project our culture. Not today that we are doing something else. We have become different today, artistically. Well, I think uh, I am not the person to say that. I know people who are home will definitely uh, attest to that. That I have, I think, I have impacted you know, uh, uh, youths positively through my artistic uh, uh, involvement. Uh, I am the kind of a person that is more passionate about uh, uh, good jobs. And when I say good jobs, something that will influence you positively. I mean, uh, arts that will influence your life positively. So I want to believe that I have seen some people who have appreciated me and I think with that, I might have impacted uh, positively into our uh, youth before people could be saying daily, you have done excellently well. Well, uh, I have to say this for the first time. I've not been seeing myself as a Nollywood person. I just see myself as one of Nigerian theater artists, but well, if that is the name we actually want to give to ourselves, okay. But the problem I I keep telling people who cares to listen to me is we have too much of mediocre in the industry now, those who are not trained and who are not ready to be trained. Uh, a lot of people are now coming in into the industry just because they want to make fame and they will use their fame to do anything they like after that. And that is not the primary objective of being an actor, either female or male. So, uh, so far so good. Uh, uh, I think uh, we must do something very fast so that uh, we don't uh, uh, lose the value, the, the particularly our cultural value, because that is what we're supposed to be projecting. We need to project Nigeria better than the way we are projecting it. We use this medium to do many things, to tell stories and some of and some others and you know and so on and so forth. But what we are not doing it the way it should be done. And I I believe if if, if something is not done very quickly, we may we may we may lose the value in uh, 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 this uh, profession. If we handle it with care, if we handle it well, I believe sky is not going to be our limit. It, it, it will be our, our starting point. Watch events, exclusive interviews, box office, hot gist, and gossips. Catch your favorite stars on the red carpet on hits. Show on Monday to Sunday, 1 p.m. on this station. Hits, Spectrum of Entertainment.